sorry. <laughs> Hands up, who likes me? Guys, <laughs> no wonder Neil's smelly. According to the house list, it says the last time we went to the laundrette was the 23rd of October, 1981. <laughs> Guys, it's wash day. But why, Michael? I myself have three pairs of socks and three pairs of knickers. That means I've only worn them 269 times each since the last wash. I said, hands up, who likes... Rick, we heard what you said. Now, guys, brace yourselves. There's no avoiding this, and I'm not talking about my chopper. We are going to the laundrette. Oh, no, please. Uh, not the laundrette. Why don't you like me? Because you're a complete bastard. <laughs> Vivian, I'm being serious. So am I. You're a complete bastard and we all hate you. <laughs> I find that rather difficult to believe. Do you want to bet on it? I'll put down a fiver. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you can count me in as well. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, uh, uh, I don't bet. Coward! Yeah, yellow chicken. Oh, I don't, I'm not scared. Right then, a fiver. Oh, I haven't got any money. What about that tenner I lent you this morning for your sister's operation? <laughs> you haven't got a sister, Rick. You're the classic example of an only child. All right, all right, are we going to bet or are we going to piffle around all night? There's a tenner. Quiet, everybody. The bet's on. Right. Hands up, who likes me? <laughs> Damn! Right, that's it. I'm going to kill myself. Then you'll be sorry. No, we won't. <laughs> Does anybody want the last chick for you? I didn't even want the first one. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, you zeros. <laughs> you nobodies. What's going to live on after you die? I'll tell you. Nothing. That's what. Oh, this is pathetic. Uh, like, can you, like, actually kill yourself with laxative pills? I don't go now, but I'm gonna stay and find out. I think I'm going up to my room for a bit. <laughs> this house will become a shrine. And punks and skins and masters will all gather round and hold their hands in sorrow for their fallen leader. And all the grown-ups will say, but why are the kids crying? And the people say, haven't you heard? Rick is dead! The people's poet is dead! And then one particularly sensitive and articulate teenager will say, are the kids, do you understand nothing? How can Rick be dead when we still have his poems? And another kid will say... <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm irrelevant. <laughs>